We're used to the idea of dancing until we drop, but dancing until we're dead? That's a whole different matter. Yet that's what happened in medieval Europe as a phenomenon known as dancing plague took hold. And this is the curious case of dancing mania. The dancing mania record is, for me, one of the most absolutely fascinating records we have here in the archive at Guinness World Records. It's also one of the oldest records held by a human. It's what we might even call an unbreakable record because it stood for so many hundreds of years. In the German town of Aachen in 1374, victims were seized with an uncontrollable urge to dance. The outbreak was dubbed St John's Dance and victims danced for hours until they collapsed with exhaustion. The outbreak was the worst of its kind, sparking off numerous other crowds of insatiable dancers right across Europe. The dancers cried out in pain, but they couldn't stop themselves. And at the time, it was thought that they were possessed by the devil. Although these outbreaks were often talked about in mystical or supernatural terms, there is no doubt such events did take place. There was another dreadful outbreak of dancing mania in Strasbourg in 1518. And at its peak, 15 people were dying every single day as a result of dancing themselves to death in the searing summer heat. This outbreak began with a single woman. She started to dance after a row with her husband and she continued to dance until bloody and bruised over six days. The authorities stepped in and took her away to a holy shrine. But just days later, 34 more people were struck with the desire to dance until exhaustion and even death. The most commonly repeated theory for what might have caused it is something called ergotism, or poisoning by the ergot fungus, which grows on rye and some other grains. One of the key chemical components of ergot is what is called lysergic acid, which is the LS in LSD. This has been known to cause delusions and hallucinations, and it has been hypothesized may have driven these people to dance uncontrollably. As the dancing mania spread, the authorities stepped in once more, but their solution had catastrophic consequences. They decided to play music to help ease the stress. However, it simply provided a soundtrack that boosted their urge to dance. In an incredible U-turn, the authorities then banned music and tied people to wagons. They took them on an enforced pilgrimage, which eventually helped the mania to subside. A more likely explanation is what is called mass psychogenic illness, or what was once called mass hysteria. This is where a kind of contagion of an idea or a belief can spread through a population, particularly during times of extreme stress. At the time of these outbreaks, Europe was experiencing wars, plagues, famines, droughts, all of the many horrible ways in which a medieval peasant could die. In this context, it is perhaps not surprising that they believed themselves to be under attack by a supernatural force, and the area was already home to legends of demons or devils cursing people to dance uncontrollably until they died or repented their sins. And for those of us who love dancing, it seems unimaginable that that could actually be your cause of death. So next time you're filled with the urge to dance, beware make sure you stop before you drop.